G'day mate, my name is Daly and today we're going to be playing Wrath and I'm going to be explaining how to start the game for everybody that is new to the game. So first thing you want to do is you want to collect absolutely everything. Everything that you can see. Uh, you want to first probably craft yourself a spear. That was a bad throw. And definitely aim for the barrels. And this is the exact reason why we want a spear. Because as soon as these four are gone, we have nothing left. Now to make a spear, all we need is some rope and some planks. Rope we can craft here with the, uh, the palm fronds. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Now also, keep in mind you will come across some islands. But do not go to them at the moment. Okay. You don't have enough equipment to actually harvest what's on the island straight away. However, you may be able to go and uh, you know collect a few like, pineapples or watermelon. Now we have our spear, we can put it up there and we can go ahead and start looking at making a small purifier and a simple grill. And also a hammer because, well because that shark is going to be uh, here and often and from the looks of things the way i'm going it looks like i'm going to need a paddle so whenever your raft gets stuck you can use a paddle to move yourself away from well this situation for example so i have crashed into here i have made myself a paddle and we can go ahead and try to unstick ourselves from this situation usually this doesn't happen but if the case it does happen before you get up and running, this is the best way and most likely the only way you can get out of here. Now the paddle only takes some plank, plastic and rope. Pretty easy to craft, but um, there we go, we're on our way. Now crafting a hammer and we can go ahead about uh, trying to grab a little bit more wood. I haven't got quite enough wood on me to then uh, create the floor. And there we go, creating the floor. So if we can make some more spaces, if you have the required amount, I would definitely say uh, get some more spaces. No! And so when your shark does attack, you can actually fend off the raft and protect yourself. That's why we get the spear first, so we actually can protect these foundations. If you go for anything else, you'll probably die uh, because you, you won't have enough resources. Okay, now that we have enough resources, we can go ahead and make the simple purifier and the simple grill. And also use the hammer to go out a little bit further. If your raft does get attacked, you can pull out your hammer and go down to repair and just hit it. As long as you have the, uh, the correct amount of planks. I do not. So let's get more planks. As long as you have the correct amount of planks, you can uh, heal your... I always say that. Repair your raft, all you need to do is go down to get your hammer out, get, uh, go down here and repair. You can also replace with different, um, yeah, you know, if you have a wall up, you can replace it with different uh, materials as well. But now that we have got enough planks, we can uh, expand our raft out a lot more. And the more, uh, more plank uh, foundations we have, the more safe we are. Now we can place down our water purifier and our simple grill. I usually put it right in the middle here. So that way if the shark does attack any of these outside uh, foundations, these two will still be safe. So now we can go ahead and place some planks in both of these. We also need to chuck on a potato if you have got one. So we have something to eat. As you can see, I'm getting very thirsty, so we can go ahead and make a cup. Now the cups, you, you have to get some salt water, add that there, and that will uh, transform uh, into a, a clear water. It will get purified there. So you can go ahead, eat this. If you eat raw potatoes or anything like that, it does uh, wear down your thirst a bit, so it's a little bit contradictive. If you also drink salt water uh, just by itself, it's a little bit contradictive as well. It'll uh, it'll wipe out your thirst. So do not do that. So at this point in time, just keep uh, you know gathering all your resources. 
uh, eventually you will come across uh, blueprints of the receiver and the antenna, I believe. But what you want to do is also, when you can, uh, upgrade your raft so it's big enough. And then you want to make yourself a research table right here. Scrap and plank. So go ahead and make one of, one of them. Place it down. I have fallen off my raft. Once you have made one of these, you can go in, open it up, and you can place one item of different, like, of the different resources to research. Now, once you have researched the right items, it'll unlock new things for you to build. So right now, I have now unlocked a lantern up the top, up the top here, so I can craft one of them and place that down so I've got some light for everybody to see. And we are getting attacked by a shark. As you can see, he attacks quite frequently so you have to be on the ball so go ahead and uh, learn all of the resources that you can you can also go ahead and look through this list to see what you can un unlock you really just need a, a one of nearly every item that is a class as a resource as, as resource sorry um, to be able to unlock everything so you can also go through here into resources, the little screw here, and craft a nail through scrap. Uh, wet break is a little bit later on, and then rope as well. So you can also add those into here as well to research them. So as you may be able to see, I am quite stuck on this island. Now I'll show you what you can expect on these islands. You can expect uh, some palm trees, Some that's a mango tree there. We also have watermelon. Uh, lots of which, which is really great, really helpful for our water, not so much for our hunger, but right now where our current health and everything is sitting, it will do the trick quite, quite well. Also at islands we have uh, reefs uh, underneath there, uh, so if you need some resources there, that will also be quite handy. But yet again, that's something we will touch on later. Now that I have eaten all the watermelon and that we are unstuck from that island, we can go ahead and look at our uh, kind of progress. So now we've got everything sort of running. What you can do is have multiple of these, so then you can always have water, always have food. You can also, if you're feeling keen, you can also make a fishing rod, and you can also make a crop plot for your potatoes. If you are lucky enough to get multiple potatoes, I do recommend uh, planting them so you can definitely get uh, get a lot more potatoes it is very helpful so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now now when planting these you do need to give it fresh water for me luckily enough i have actually got uh, it's raining right now so it's already watered itself from, uh, so it's pretty easy as you can see as well we have got seagulls so with these being planted ah you silly shark with these being planted uh, that will draw the attention of the seagulls to come and try to steal them. So we also will need to have a scarecrow. Once you've got your square, scarecrow, just make sure you have it nice and close to the crops so it scares the uh, seagulls onto the scarecrow rather than onto your crops. Be careful, but once these guys do uh, get their health really low, uh, they will just despawn once they've been attacked too much. One thing I do advise strongly is to craft yourself some simple collection nets. Uh, they, they All they require is plank, rope and nails. So go ahead and make as many of them as you can. There we go. So just chuck them in any fashion that you'd like. And as you go along, uh, the, look, there's a turtle. It's kind of scared me for a second. Uh, they will collect the resources as you're just seeing there. They will be able to collect 10 different items uh, and then that's about it. There is an upgraded advanced one uh, in the later tiers that will hold a lot more. But for now, these will do. The shark will attack these, so it is wise to build some more uh, foundations around it, just like that. So then they'll actually uh, attack the around the outside. You will not fall through these, and the shark will never attack the middle of your raft. He will only attack the outsides. So this is perfectly safe now. Now that you've got your uh, your plants going, you've got your cooking, you really need to get on to finding a way to direct your raft. Now this is easy, you just need to get a plank, uh, palms and some scrap. Now that you've got your sail, just put it anywhere on the raft, it, does, it can go anywhere that you would like. You can direct it 
basically any way that you want to go. Now, the easy way to find out which way is like the way to go is best to craft a streamer as well and put it close to your um, to your sail, so you can see which way the wind is going. So this will point directly the which way the wind is uh, pushing. So yeah, just keep your uh, if you don't have a sp specific location you want to go to, just keep your sail pointed that way, and then you can automatically collect things as well. As well. Here we go, prime example. Get out of there. All right, you're probably at this stage thinking, okay, daily, I followed all your steps. Now what do I do? I want to start living like a king. Now, my suggestion is to make sure you have enough water, enough food that uh, you're comfortable with, that your food is generally always full. Um, you can also make a chest. I have not mentioned this one yet. But I need more rope. But you can make a chest and put it down and fill that bad boy with uh, some food and some water. Make more cups if you need to. Uh, so then you're you're ready to go. After that, I would suggest getting a stone stone axe, and then we're on our way to getting onto an island. Now, when we get to an island, you probably want shark bait, so make sure you're getting fishing rod. You probably want to get one of these, an anchor, a throwable anchor. Now we've made our way to an island. Now, if you don't have a throwable ankle, ankle, a throwable ankle, that's a new one. Uh, if you don't have a throwable anchor. Push yourself in the way of the island, but in a way that you're going to get yourself stuck on purpose. Now here is a good example. I've got a rock here and I'm pushing the raft around the back so it's going to get caught along there as well. Just like that. I'm not going anywhere. I can, I'll be here for a long time. So, but if you do have an anchor, you can rotate this and then throw it like so. And then this isn't going anyway, anywhere, even if you are stuck. Okay, I've made myself two uh, of the um, baits. But at this point in time, you probably uh, researched everything in this book. You're probably like, what's a bolt? What's an ingot? What's a hinge? What's a giant clam? No, you already know what a giant clam is, but you know what I'm saying. So, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have a, a hook that is basically new. Uh, these are probably the most easiest thing to craft in the game because you literally cannot live without it. So you want to get out of here. You want to make yourself to a reef. Uh, Bruce, the name of the shark, is going to be around. So you want to throw a bundle around there. He's going to attack that rather than attacking you. So it's perfect opportunity to look around this reef for one very specific item. I can't see. There it is. That is copper right here you want some copper this is a good way to get some stuff up there uh, get some new things you, know, you want to get two of every one of these items and be careful to watch your oxygen do not suffocate down here people you want to get uh, two of these as well this is metal ingot old metal to make an ingot is metal ore now go back up for some air we also want to get this this is seaweed so we can make some vine goo all right He's still going at it with that, that uh, bait. We have made two just in case. Uh, that is scrap there that I've just passed up. But what I'm looking for is this. This is sand. Again, we want to make sure we get two. Now, sand is good for making clay. Also for making glass. So we probably want to get a few more sand uh, than we would, we would normally. And we want to get some clay. Now, clay and sand look very alike. So... You, uh, is very hard to tell sometimes. I've been playing Raft for quite some time and even I get a little bit uh, you know, confused by the two. Now that uh, bait is gone. We gotta make sure to keep an eye out for that. Uh, as soon as we see Bruce, we would wanna chuck our second one. Clay is usually a lot darker than the sand. Uh, it usually mixes in really, really easily. Everything else down here that we're seeing is either scrap, rocks. Um, there's a giant clam over there. There's some clay right there, I believe. A lot darker, blends in much more easily. So this is what we need. This is one of the, this is the part where if you're stuck, 
if you're stuck in raft, this is the thing that's probably, you, you're like, okay, what am I needing now? Now, so you get all this clay, and we head out back to the raft. Oh, that was close. We need some water very quickly as well, so let's have a drink. Let's get rid of this and go on our merry way. Hopefully I can get us out of this predicament. Don't worry, I got a paddle, it's fine. Ah, oh, no, Bruce, go away. All right, we are free. Let's turn this, this sail around. Now, what we need to do is get a smelter. Have we already found a smelter? No. For me, I have not. That's because we need one dry brick. Now, this is where, where we were talking about earlier. We need to go to resources. We need to go to wet brick. We need sand and clay. So, craft that up. What you want to do with the, the wet brick is simply just set it down. It'll dry. And, yeah, that's basically all there is to that bit. Just let, wait till that dries and then research that. But the trick is you need six of these to be able to make the smelter. So... I'll let you do that. Another thing you can do is make a bed. I've just slept. Uh, it, it also decreases your thirst and your hunger, so you gotta have to be careful with that. Uh, if you're not ready to be able to get slammed with that as soon as you wake up every single time, I would just suggest keep staying up through the day, but for recording purposes, you can see a lot better when it's daytime. So, we're gonna wait for this to dry. Oh, I'm going to let you wait for this to dry. I'm going to just fast forward this bit. Alright, so you've made the smelter. Now you just put it down. It really doesn't matter where. You know, you can pick these stuff up later. I am dying of thirst. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to expand this bit just a little bit out. Because we're running out of room. It's getting a bit crowded. Well, yeah, to be able to smelt these things, all you need to do is put it in the top there. And you chuck the planks down the bottom. And uh, what you do is you basically do that for your sand, your um, your metal, and so the sand will help you make a more advanced purifier. The metal will help you learn for hinges and um, bolts, and the copper will help you learn for like circuit boards. Now you'll eventually get a blueprint like this. This is the receiver. This is how you find the uh, the other islands. Um, so the story islands, I could say. I'm going to throw that away. I don't need that now. We can go in here and it will be right here. So I need a circuit board and a hinge just so I can unlock it. And you need a lot of circuit boards. So you need to do a lot of uh, a lot of diving and all that sort of stuff. So now that we've got the copper ingot, we can uh, go ahead and research that. Go okay, chuck that straight in here. Research. Now that also goes towards the sprinkler systems and all that sort of stuff. That's just uh, for like crops and everything. Once you get there, you can also chuck in your bolt. Go away, Bruce. You can chuck in your hinge as well. So chuck in the hinge there. And then now, uh, I've gone ahead and made a circuit board as well. So that should have opened up a lot. We got sprinkler and a bunch of more things as well. Now you also come across another uh, blueprint, which is the antenna. Uh, you definitely need these to be actually able to know that the, these are a thing. So go ahead and learn that. Now, once you have learned these, this is very important. You need to go ahead and make a second floor. Now, if you're thinking, I just want it all to be one floor. I don't care about a second floor. What's the point of that, you know? Unfortunately for you, uh, you need a second floor for this. Now, it doesn't really matter. I don't even know what I'm doing here. What is this crap? There we go. Um, it doesn't really matter how you make it, but you do need a second floor. Uh, this is just so that the, the receiver will work. You know, the higher up, the better connection and all that sort of stuff, you know? So... Yeah, we need to build a second floor. Now, I'm just building mine really rough. Yeah, yours would probably be a lot more uh, tidier and neater and everything than what this is going to be. Okay, so you've made the little second floor and you've made the receiver and the three antennas because we do need three and we have a shark problem. Whatever fashion you've made your second floor, it doesn't matter. You need three 
antennas and they do need to be quite a distance away from each other i don't even know that this is going to work and we do need to get a battery once you've got your battery chuck it in and you can turn it on now it will say if it's too close to antenna or anything like that so you just turn it off and take these out further they all need to be on the same floor though so i'm going to go ahead and build some more out okay so with them they've been a little bit more spread out we should be able to place in our battery and turn it on it should work these two over here so one and two are too close so i'm gonna have to turn that off and separate them a little bit more okay now it's working so you probably need a, a quite a quite a distance away from each other and as you can see on the the, uh, the blue icon with the uh, square around it is where we have got targeted at the moment green is just a normal island the blue is the story island so we can go ahead and open this up turn it towards our island i don't know why that's going through the floor but it is and we can make our merry way towards that island so that's been a, lot, a little bit longer of a how-to than i usually do but anyway hopefully this has explained everything you need to do to get to at least the first island i'll be doing more episodes or videos like this covering all the islands and how to get to them and all that sort of stuff basically from this point all you need to do is just enjoy the trip enjoy creating your raft however you'd like it to be i have obviously made it the simplest way possible uh usually i would go ahead and make a lot more of each of these if you're playing with more people make sure that everyone has a job i suppose one person to look con concentrate on the food and another person to concentrate on the building another person to i don't know depends on how many people you have you know you fend off bruce do some more collecting make sure the storage is all correct you know all that sort of stuff but um yeah that will about wrap us up for today hopefully you have enjoyed this video hopefully it has been helpful if it has please leave a like and subscribe all that sort of stuff but that is all time we have for today hey everybody hopefully you have enjoyed this video and you guys know, everything is down in the description and you can catch me here daily have a good one mate